All right, welcome to tutorial one of many to cover the uh, new uh, crop planner. Let's jump right into things. So we're going to look at things sheet by sheet, and in this tutorial we're going to look at the introduction and the sheet instructions. So a lot of you don't like to read instructions, and you could get by on this spreadsheet without reading instructions, but there's going to be some things that uh, make you crazy. So let's take a look at, at uh, some things to start with. So this sheet here is just a, an introduction to things overall. So the first thing you need to do when you get the crop planner is you need to make your own version. You're not going to work on the version um, that, that I work on. So you're going to go up here to File, you're going to go to Make a Copy, and you're going to name it something. We're just going to call this Chris 2021 because that's going to be the next season. And I'm going to copy the comments. I'm not going to share it with the same people. And that's going to create a new version. So let's let that happen. It's going to take a little bit of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, two versions to start off here. So that version there is going to be our main spreadsheet and when you download it, it's going to be blank. So it's going to have nothing filled in yet except a few odds and ends. You are then going to take that spreadsheet and copy that. The reason is that first one you copied uh, is your, your primary one. So if something goes wrong, you can always go back to that first one. Never change that first one, always just make a copy of it. So you've always got a, uh, a base version. This is uh, not online software, this is a spreadsheet, and things will go wrong as much as I've tried to make it foolproof. So with that second version you've created, that's the one where you're going to do your projections for the season. Fill it in with either uh, known customers or theoretical customers to get a sense of what things are going to look like. Once you've done that and you have a sense of your numbers, you're going to copy that one again. And that's going to be your working version. So basically, things are kind of laid out for you for the season on a week-to-week -week basis. And that kind of tells you what your production and what your sales goals are. And if you've just put in generic names, you can change them as you go. And if you've put in existing customer names, you can just kind of pick, pick up where, where you started and, and, and keep rolling with it. You may just want to start with a blank version for your season, and that's totally fine. The value in taking and planning out your whole season is you get a sense of what your labor hours are going to look like, what your revenue is going to be, how that's split among different customer types. So I highly recommend doing that. You should be able to create a reasonable season projection in just a few hours, and that'll save you tons of work in the future. Uh, so there will be some tutorials in here. Those are still in, in operation, uh, in progress while I'm filming this, but uh, it will be there. Uh, the links to the tutorials will be in here under tutorials. Cell rules. If you have not used this spreadsheet before, you need to know the rules and you need to follow the rules or else bad things happen. Okay, green cells. Green means go. Go ahead and enter data in those cells. That's what they're for. These orange cells, do not edit these cells. That's where calculations happen. They autofill. And if you get to know the spreadsheet well and you're comfortable with spreadsheets, you can manipulate those if you want, but be careful. One change in one cell can uh, ripple through the whole spreadsheet. So if you don't know spreadsheets, leave good enough alone. These gray ones are the label cells. So these are labels of categories and you can see the titles here. You can change these all you want. I've tried to make them very gener generic and intuitive. Uh, so yeah, there's not much need there, but you might just prefer different language and that's totally fine. Same thing with your, um, your sheets down here. We have lots of different sheets we work with. I've tried to make them very precise and short in their names, but if something else is more intuitive for you, uh, you can go ahead and change those. Okay. And last but not least, uh, this is a spreadsheet I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours developing. Uh, you can share it with people all you want through Google Sheets, but I would really prefer that you didn't. Uh, it takes a lot of time and effort, and people uh, paying for this allow me to put, put more time into it. I maintain this very actively. Uh, I have a lot of one-on-ones with people using the Crop Planner, and I can help relate this to other areas of production. So yeah, please don't share it. Uh, if people are interested, send them to the website, urbanmicro.ca, and they can buy their own version there. Okay, so that's a general overview. You're going to make your copies, you're going to follow the cell rules, and you're not going to give my spreadsheet to other people who haven't paid for it. Pretty simple rules. Okay, good. Now we got the hard stuff out of the way. Second version here is called the sheet instructions. So for every sheet you see at the bottom here, 
there is an, uh, an instructions, uh, basically, oh, we'll call them pages. Some of them are quite brief and other, others, like the crops here, are much more detailed. So there's going to be a video to accompany this uh, for, for all these sheets, but sometimes having something you can look at really quickly is going to be very, very useful. So this here is the link um, here to this actual sheet. And so once you have your version, this link will bring you back to this version, which means uh, I might throw an email out there and say, hey, I've updated the instructions in the harvest and the crop production sheet. Go and copy that into your version. And, and then you've got stuff up to date there. So I'll send out lots of updates and things like that as they're needed. And that'll make sure if there are corrections or updates that need to happen with the spreadsheet, um, that I can uh, get that happening on your spreadsheet as well. Unlike software, I can't update it here and it updates for everybody. So what I do try to do is uh, I'll send out instructions like here's an error or here's a change. Here's how you can make those changes on your sheet. And I'll give a little tutorial for that. So that helps keep thing, things up to date. And if I create new features, you're going to be able to get those right away. And I'm very, very active with this. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I've got it all nailed in this version. But if not, there will be more to come. So yeah, that's our introduction in our sheet instructions. I would recommend reading those both very thoroughly before getting into the spreadsheet, especially if you haven't used it before. Just get familiar with things, then start to get into your planning. Okay, so uh, in our next video, we're going to take a look at our sales goals.